This is the Leica 10 to 25 lens, and it's probably one of, if not the best lens for the Micro Four Thirds system. And I'm gonna tell you why. So first of all, it's a marvel of engineering. So the fact that you can get all the way from 10 to 25 millimeters, which is full frame equivalent of 20 to 50. So that gives you your sort of standard wide to field of view, which is like most like the human eye, the nifty 50 style. So you're covering quite a wide range there. And of course, all of that is at 1.7 aperture, which is extremely amazing to get that wide aperture. It's common knowledge that one of the weaker aspects of the Micro Four Thirds system is light gathering, that low light. And so this lens fixes that issue by having a 1.7 aperture all the way through the zoom range. If you didn't have a constant 1.7 aperture, let's say it was a 1.7, then at the furthest zoom, it went to 2.8. That would mean that Generally, you'd be sticking at 2.8 because if you were zoomed in on your subject and then you zoom back out and then it goes to 1.7, let's say, from 2.8, then your exposure levels would change. So having that constant 1.7 aperture means your exposure stays the same throughout the whole zoom range, which for any kind of work where you're changing between different focal lengths like weddings or documentary, then that is extremely valuable. And that's not the only great thing about this lens. The whole build quality is just excellent. Even down to the details, like the lens hood has this really nice mechanism for taking it off. It's quite a nice big button that secures it on there. Even the front cap feels really high quality. It's got 77 mil front thread. It just feels really good as well, the mechanism. But my favorite feature, and a feature I didn't realize how much I would love until I got it, is this clutch here. So that slides down and it goes from being in a sort of autofocus mode. So yes, you can have manual focus with this lens like this, and then it acts as any fly-by-wire lens. But then when you pull this clutch down, it becomes it's like a normal lens. And then you can switch it back up and then go back to the fly-by-wire system. This means on the fly, if I'm in autofocus mode and I want to go manual for a very specific subject that I want to pick out, it's as easy as that and go. And now that, now that I've got it, I can't go back to anything else. And that's why this lens is almost entirely on my, on my camera. The only reason it's not now is because I wanted to show you this. So as soon as this video is over, this will be going back on, I'm sure. Because it's got that Leica name on it, that, that means that They've signed off to say, yes, this is of a Leica quality. Everything's handled really, really well. No chromatic aberration, even fully wide open. That's why this is the lens that I use almost exclusively now. Um, this is my most used lens by far. And I highly, highly recommend it. Yes, it's expensive, but the saving from not having to have that whole range of primes and just how useful it is to not have to change between different primes when you're filming something makes this really, really valuable if you do those kind of documentary or weddings, then there isn't anything else you'd rather have than this, I'm sure. So highly recommended. Definitely pick one of these up. When you want to change aperture, you can do that within the menu of your camera, but then you can also put the aperture into manual mode by rotating this and the aperture is smooth which is better for video but this is excellent for photography as well because it's such a clean beautiful image if you want that shallow depth of field for your photography or videography then shooting at 1.7 is really going to get you there a lot better than other lenses in this system so great for a very wide variety of reasons